I live on a small street in Center City, Philadelphia. I, there's, there's this woman there who no longer lives there who was this older woman, um, kind of kept to herself, kind of quaint, walked around, slippers all the time, kind of an eccentric woman. But I had a chance to talk to her a little bit and found out that she had this incredible life where she um, came from wealth, her family was wealthy, uh, they were all eccentric, she married cousins, that kind of thing, where they all kind of kept together back in the 20s. <laughs> but the neatest story was she told me how she got married to this gentleman who was a poet, and they lived in Europe during the 1930s and 40s, um, and quickly she realized that he was a homosexual, but at the time, of course, that was a whole on her tour. She felt that she was to blame. They went through this whole thing, and they realized the marriage had to end. She, they became friends. Um, but it was a real traumatic experience for her at the time, and she shared that with all these other people that she hung out with who were also storytellers and poets uh, of, the, of the genre. One of the people that was in this group of people she hung out with took notes about her story and sent her a draft because they basically wanted to write about her life and sent her a handwritten draft saying, I wrote this short story about you. I changed some of the names, but I want to know what you think. And she said it was fine. She thought it was a great idea. She was all about the passion of telling the story. So she allowed him to continue with it. Um, that handwritten note actually hung in a frame in her house, which was on my street. And that handwritten note is actually the beginning of Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. And she is the original woman who Elizabeth Taylor played. She is it. She is. So, so uh, Margo actually uh, exists and was living in Philadelphia. And she, and I saw the whole handwritten note from, uh, what, is it Tennessee Williams, right? I'm blanking out. But I saw the whole handwritten thing framed up. And it was like, he wrote down about her living with a gay poet and the marriage. And, and he was one of the poets that she hung out with in the 1950s. And he shared the story. So that's my on my street story is that I lived with, uh, I, I'm not competing, I just have to, I've heard it, I have to share it.